In my years of working on the web, uh, and that's over two decades now, I've encountered a lot of web technologies and the wonderful things they can do. Like my, my favorite thing about technology is that they solve problems. And you know, if a technology does not solve a specific problem, it isn't really much of a solution. Some technologies are pretty straightforward. Um, a lot of the straightforward ones tend to be open source and some are sophisticated and they can do anything from, let's say, something as simple as scheduling to something as complicated as training natural language AI. So it can get very complex very quickly. But with all of the technology available to us today, how do you figure out which technology is right for you, your brand, your team, your business? So, hi guys, welcome to another episode of the True Logic DX podcast. And today we're going to talk about web technology. It's the new year, and this is our first podcast for the year. And for some brands, a new year means one thing a new website, a new app. But I've always been puzzled by how brands and businesses make their technology selections when building a platform, you know, and then, you know, an app, a website, these are just platforms. They're just channels by which you communicate with, the, with your customers. And I think people fall into what I call the, the car versus designer baby conundrum, right? Like, why don't we make our technology selections the way we make our selections for cars? Like, when we buy cars, we try to think about the functionality, how many people we need to fit in, how much how much storage space do we need? Do we really need a four wheel drive? Do we do we usually go? Uh, are, do we do usually go off road? Uh, how much how much uh, fuel economy are you going to need? Like most of the time, that's the decision making criteria that we make whenever we're picking out a vehicle. But it seems like when when picking out a website, the decision making is a bit weird, right? Like. Oh, I want a baby with dark curly hair and blue eyes, but moreno skin, but not too moreno, ideally without freckles. And you know, like that's some that's some magical genetic engineering going on when it comes to when it comes to site builds. So I think the way people make decisions when it comes to picking technology is is a little skewed. The web offers a wide array of technologies, and it's easy to get lost in all of the choices, right? Like, so take for example, something as simple as open source versus proprietary technologies like Microsoft or Oracle or IBM uh, who all have their own solutions. How do you know which one is right for you? Most of the time for most brands, for most businesses, the selection is usually made because of security or because of an existing relationship with one of these providers. Uh, even under open source alone, You've got a lot of coding languages to choose from. You've got Laravel, Ruby on Rails, Python, Java, Code Igniter. The list goes on and on and on and on. But, you know, just to be clear, I'm not going to give you a crash course on what these technologies are and what these coding languages are. Instead, I'm going to try to help you figure out which technology you're ready for, whether you're ready for something more sophisticated or whether you need something a, a bit more simple. And I'm going to give you a few basic decision-making criteria for making your technology selections. So let's go through that. Decision-making criteria number one, goals. Always goals. Like I think everything starts from goals. When you're picking out what technology you want to use, are you going to use IBM's proprietary technology? Are you going to use an Oracle-based system? Are you going to use something open source? What are you trying to do, right? What are you trying to do? And and by the way, please take note, I will always default from simple is better, right? So I'll always default to open source. And if the answer is not open source, I think that's when you begin considering more sophisticated technology. But the first question is, what are you trying to do? And for 90% for of websites out there, you're trying to get a customer to buy, right? So. WordPress has solutions for that. Shopify has solutions for that. Magento has solutions for that. So there are open source solutions to, to that goal. But what are you specifically trying to do? Uh, the other is, what is your audience or your customers, right? If you're a publisher, you have no customers, you have audiences. 
what are your audiences or your customers trying to do? Or what do you want your customers and your audiences to be able to do? Right? So goals. And then the last one is, what is the business goal? Right? Are you trying to drive more readership? Are you trying to drive more subscribers? Are you trying to drive more paying subscribers? Are you trying to build out a fan base? Are you trying to get people to be aware of a new product? Are you trying to sell something online? Are you trying to get people to buy uh, a subscription to a SaaS? Like, but what is the goal of the business? 